Megan has a chronic pathology of lying. The disease has been verified through the new podcast. Hello, friends. Welcome to the biggest news of the day about psychopath Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. So there's a report that came out recently that says that American psychologists have decided, thanks to Megan's work, that she does have a serious chronic lying problem. So this disease apparently has been tested by doctors and they have come to a conclusion. According to one insider, Megan's illness is quite severe. There is almost no hope of being cured. She will constantly get sick when standing in front of the media cameras. This disease is born from the ambition to be the central character. To say that Megan's new podcast has received poor ratings would be an understatement. But anyway, I did try to listen to more of her voice that just went on and on about her favorite subject, which is, of course, her. So Megan claimed that when she and Harry came to South Africa with Archie, immediately they had to take him to their housing unit to drop him off. Now, I wasn't sure exactly what she meant by housing unit, but the way that she said it, I could tell it was not a good thing. So apparently a housing unit is a place in a prison where someone sleeps. So basically, Megan is trying to make her stay in South Africa seem like the worst experience of her entire life. She, Harry, and Archie had to stay in a housing unit. I mean, how cruel of the royal family to arrange such awful housing for Megan, who had camped and peed behind a bush even to impress Harry, in Africa, of course. And then I found out they were staying at the British High Commissioner's home, which is absolutely beautiful. I mean, Megan could have just said, I stayed in a mansion, because that would have been the truth in a beautiful home where she was welcomed with open arms. But she didn't say that, and so now a lot of people in South Africa are not happy with her, and I cannot blame them one bit. And then, of course, we've got to talk about that fire in Archie's room. <laughs> so I listened to more, and that room was a bedroom, or it was a place where Archie was supposed to be napping, I guess. But thank goodness he was saved by his nanny, who decided that she was going to bring him with her to get a snack before nap time. And then somebody smelled smoke, and they realized that a heater had caught on fire. It was warm, and it was sunny on that September day. So why did they turn the heater on anyway? And then Megan said that she and Harry had just heard about the incident, and they had to continue with their work that day because of scheduling. Well, as frightening as it must have been, I mean, if the fire ever occurred, that is, Archie was completely safe, so of course Megan and Harry were expected to continue working. So those cold, evil royals forced Megan to do work when she really just wanted to be back at her housing unit to take care of Archie. She was looking to return to that gorgeous mansion with all of those luxurious bedrooms and just lie around and drink instead of actually do work. I mean, what kind of person works? Well, actually, Megan, the real royals do a lot of work. And I'm sure Harry would have understood that Archie was okay and they would have just gone through their day to represent the British crown. Except, of course, Megan is only interested in representing herself. And she also tells some very big lies. And that's the problem. Now, of course, I have not listened to every episode of her podcast yet because even though I tried to enjoy the sound of her voice, she just keeps going on and on about herself even when it was supposed to be focused on Serena Williams breaking through to more championships while being a mother and while suffering from migraines as well. I was actually really excited to hear all about that, but it was incredibly boring. It was so banal and mostly just about Megan. How shocking. I just couldn't believe the story that she told about that fire in the high commissioner's home. I just can't get over it. So I listened to more, and I still cannot understand this woman lying about so much that happened a long time ago. Why can't she just leave the royal family alone? Is she just so incredibly jealous of Catherine and William? She just can't stand it? Does she still hate herself for marrying the spare that no other decent woman would marry? Megan, it's time to just give it up already. And this new podcast is not helping her reputation. Apparently, people have a more negative view of her and partners like Netflix and Spotify as well. So an insider has said, glad to hear the ratings were in the loo. No sympathy for Spotify or Netflix as their star sinks them yet lower. They deserve this for thinking to attack the royal family with more lies and humiliation. But they've really only hurt themselves by pouring more money into this idiot and refusing to just fire her. The lower these three sink, the higher the royals are going to rise. See, scum is never going to win. Class always will. The three of them just belong together. They're looking for publicity. All right, they've got it. 
But for them to be seen as struggling and desperate has to be so humiliating. They're all just desperately clinging to each other. Now, apparently, the next guest on Megan's show is going to be Mariah Carey. I really don't understand how she's getting these people. I guess it's just that people get involved with Meghan Markle once, and then they're officially Markled, and then they're gone. Serena really sounded like a big fool just gushing all over Meghan, trying to convince everybody they were best friends. It's kind of like that whole Ellen debacle. But at least Ellen did humiliate Meghan before the world on TV. See, Serena could have just retired with honor. She does not need Megan. I think nobody does. Everything that Megan touches just turns to crap. Serena put a pretty nasty dent in her image, and for me it was a pretty big dent, actually. And Oprah wasn't looking too good before Megan ever entered the picture, but now she's absolutely appalling to me. See, Mariah Carey does not need Megan to help her out. How many of you out there think it's just going to be another hour of Megan trying to one-up everything that Mariah Carey has ever done in that ridiculous hyper voice that she uses? There's a lot about Megan's stories that just doesn't add up, and a lot of people are suspicious of the exaggerated details that she includes. So one person said, maybe I'm forgetful, but I don't remember hearing about a fire in their unit before. Never. I can't believe that a fire happened and Megan requested that be kept out of the news. She'd welcome the mass pity party far too much. It'd give her more to complain about. And this person goes on to say, Something tells me that if Archie had actually been in a room where a heater had caught flame but was snuffed out before any harm was done on the same morning of the Lion King premiere in the UK, nothing would have stopped her from attending that in the evening. She's dramatizing and or lying. Going by her past record, I'm going with lying. Poor her. She's a revisionist for sure. And speaking about the term housing unit, one member of the audience said, Where I'm from, we consider a housing unit right above low class. To live there, you need special permission and can only make so much money in a year. The housing unit in my town has probably 50 to 70 families living there with lots of children and a shared playground. Absolutely no type of security. You have to apply to live there and the waiting list could be more than a year. So poor Megan is completely clueless about the real world. That little condo she lived in before she met Harry was high class compared to a housing unit. So again, she just embarrassed another government by saying something stupid as always. So apparently Meghan offended most people in South Africa after she publicly defamed the country's facilities. One South African person said, As a so-called white South African, I am offended by these remarks. So please tell me, what do you think about Meghan Markle's lies and their damage to her reputation later on? Let us know your thoughts below in the comments section. We hope you have found this video helpful. And please don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll hope to see you in the next videos. Goodbye.